What is going on, everybody? Okay, it did not take very long. We have our first pretty significant upgrade found in iOS 16.2 beta 1, and that is the actual release of that Freeform app that Apple kind of teased months ago back at, I think, WWDC. So this is actually available for not only iOS 16.2 beta 1, but also Mac OS 16.1 and iPad OS's latest beta as well. What this is meant to be is a collaborative feature that allows you to even share via FaceTime calls in live time these boards you can create and all of that. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Thumbs up this video. Let us know in the comments down below, can you see this beneficial for business professionals and personal development? Let us know. Let's hop right into this. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you even load up that new Freeform app is actually go into settings and go into your iCloud and then under your storage area, under apps using iCloud, you're gonna to wanna to go to show all and actually scroll to the bottom and see Freeform and make sure that toggles on. On both Mac OS and on iOS 16.2, this is uh, turned off by default. When you actually get prompted in the new Freeform app, when you go to share, it does not take you to that load screen. So this is just kind of a uh, being proactive in order to get this working. Now, here it is, like I said, let's go back to what it actually looks like. This is the landing screen. And as you can see, you have all boards, recent, shared, and favorites. So I created one just messing around. And this is exactly what it looks like. It is a massive board. You can kind of scroll around, zoom in with your pinch to zoom. and pinch out if you choose. You can see it's kind of rough in the pinching in some scenarios, but here it is. Let's go ahead and actually start a new one. And this is your landing screen when you're first setting it up. So you have a couple options down here. You can insert photos, actually select where you want to insert it from. Do you want to insert a link, scan a document, the camera or photos and videos? We're going to use photos and videos in this scenario. And I'm just going to select one of the pictures in here, and you can see it just randomly placed it right in the center of the board. So if you want, you can obviously drag it around. You can zoom out like we were saying, drop it anywhere else, expand on it, shrink it, and kind of place it as you see fit. Beyond that, you can obviously use a marker or any sort of kind of drawing utensil here and just write things. And it works pretty good. Obviously, you can erase it, just say done. You can insert text boxes, and you can see it actually placed that one right on top of the uh, image for some reason. Let's go ahead and actually open this up a little bigger. And you can obviously double tap like it says, and add whatever you'd like. Click off of there, select done. And you can see where we're going with this, right? Next up is shapes and objects. So you have geometry shapes, basic, obviously animals like you saw in nature. And say you wanna add a sun, expand it out. There we go. And there it is. So very, very useful. This will give you a sticky note if you so want. Hello there again. And yeah, you can see exactly how neat this is to kind of put a, basically a whiteboard together for whatever you're needing. You do have other options here as well. Create a new one as we just did. We'll go back to the other one. In here, you can rename it, make a duplicate, favorite it, find it, hide grid, export as a PDF or print. And then beyond that, obviously, when you are ready to share, you can click on that and I've been getting an error where it's saying it's not ready. Document has not synced yet. Please wait before attempting to share. So I have not had any luck with that. We can even go back to the original one that I did earlier. And it is just not really active yet, as you can see. This is the same in Mac OS as well. It's the exact same app. I was trying to share it to do a, uh, basically a, a co-op version to try out and show you guys, but it's just not active yet. 
But for now, this is it in its infancy, the first time we got a live look at Freeform. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Are you going to be using this like I said? Can you see it being beneficial? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.